Welcome back to DBS and the DFL studio. In the studio, I have entrepreneur and comedian OGB and UK commentator Chris Stenesis. And tonight, we're talking about men and women and how we communicate. I'll be opening the phone lines earlier tonight in case you'd like to contribute to the conversation. And um, what we're also going to do, we're going to test everyone with a, a, a question, as I said I would. But I want to tell you that people have already started giving us so many different responses to, the, especially the bit, which sex likes to gossip more. Now, we actually asked this question to people on our BBM earlier. And I think about 60 people have responded before we even came on air. And we've got maybe about 10 already. And I'm going to read a couple of them just to see whether you agree, agree with them. But just to summarize what we had at the moment, we're saying that females are saying um, that men are the ones who gossip more. And we're looking at about 35 of that. So that's the maximum. Women, women are saying that men gossip more. Um, women say, the women saying that women gossip more is looking at about the 15 mark. Um, men who say that men gossip more is at five at the moment. And men who say that females gossip more is about eight or nine at the moment. So it's looking like the females are responding more. Um, and at the moment, they're saying that the men are gossiping more than the females. And that surprised me because I think a long time ago, the instant reaction would be the women are the ones who are gossiping. Any comments, Chris, on what I've said so far? Um, no, I still think the women are, are, are the ones who are talk the most. Nothing's really changed. But there's a difference yeah. between talking and gossip. Well, so I'm saying gossip. Oh, they're full of gossip. They will always be full of gossip. That's, all you, that's all you want to say? That's all I've got to say. Okay. We, women would always have something to say or they would find something to say. Oh, GB. Yeah. Anyway, even as you're talking about BB, that's a form of, form of gossiping too. So I didn't ask you that question. I, mean, I asked you to tell, you, yeah, tell me yeah, the, the process of summary. gossiping as well because uh -huh. probably when you, one of them got the BB, they chat to the other one, chatting going on. Yes. The discussion goes on. Yes. I mean, the, um, the, the uh, what do you call it? That's when the gossiping goes on and they respond. But as I'm well. asking you about the results so far yeah, on the I BB. Mean, yeah, the, women, the uh -huh. women are the ones close to BB, so they're the ones responding. All right, let me tell you a I comment. Absolutely. Let me tell you a comment that um, the people are on BB are saying. About 10 of them, apart from saying uh, men or women, they mm. have actually gone some more and said. And more of them are saying, let me see if I can get this one. Me women gossip while men are more likely to brag. They're basically saying that. The men brag. When yeah, men, men okay, brag. brag. The women are the ones who gossip, but the men brag. Now, oh, bragging yeah. is not a good thing either, is it? Well, bragging is a, it can be. I mean, yeah. if, 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 if the man's done something um, positive and, mm -hmm. and he's, he's had a result of, of what he's done, of course he should feel free to All brag right. about it. Let me read some yeah. more. Mm -hmm. um, men gossip more nowadays. It used to be the females. Things have changed. The majority of men don't work, so that's their new profession. Women are always in situations to involve themselves in conversations that brings in gossip. And uh, generally speaking, men gossip just as much as women. It's just a case of women being more open with their gossip. Both of them, their tongues are long like anacodas, which gives a deep bite. Um, uh, oh yes, women spend more time talking about sex and the size of their partner's penis. Don't know where that one came in, but that's in there. Um, the reason that they're saying some of these things are people are generalizing. Um, women gossip more than men, um, even so, but they think that the, the, the as you just said, the uh, BBMs are the best, are best friends. Mm -hmm. All right. So it, it looks as if, it depends really, but at, at the moment I'm saying that the f women are saying that the men are, are, are more, they gossip more than they used to. No, that's but would you, would you think so before? No, I, no, because right now they think they've left the level of their gossip. Their, le their gossiping now has gone scientific. Now, instead of sitting one place talking about, I mean, gossiping, they will be, when they're at work, they can use their BB and the BB in gossiping as well. Of course. So. so it's more advanced now. It's now, now scientific. Men have got so. women has gone scientific. Men have that's got much better. Um, much better things to do than, than, than to gossip. Yeah, you, you know, we, they, they, they've got uh, important things to be getting on with. Okay, like the um, bus drivers. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I've got someone here saying, I'm a man, and when it comes to gossip, the men do it more, especially the bus drivers. 
Um, well, I think the bus drivers are not actually gossiping. They're, they're actually relating. To, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here the excuses they're, they're, starting. They're actually relating to, to what's going on um, with the work which they're, which they're doing throughout the day. Yeah. Um, how, how can we um, put that down as gossiping? All right. That, here we go. Here the excuses starting. Okay. This is what we're going to do now. I'm going to ask you viewers to, in your mind, or whether you want to say it out loud, I'm going to ask you these questions, all right? And that's including uh, my guests, okay? Here's a question. On average, how many words a day do men and women say? Now, here's a choice. How many words a day on average do men and women say? Do men say 7,000 7, words a day, whereas women say 20,000 words a day? So, so men say seven, women say 20,000. Or do men say 10,000 words a day and women say 15,000 words a day, but when they're pregnant, this can increase? Okay. And also, so it'll increase about 20,000 words, they say, okay? Mm -hmm. And the last one um, that we will say is, do they speak roughly the same amount, 16,000 words per day? I'm waiting for no, an answer. No, okay. women, who, wi women who? actually speak, I'll say, I'll say, women actually speak perhaps maybe 250,000 words a day, whereas men perhaps <laughs> 12, yeah. because they seem to have so much to say um, to each other. Even when, um, the, when a know? man don't even talk, uh -huh. women yeah. will even push you to talk. They want to say something. You know, so they, don't, they don't like keeping calm. They like to discuss. Even when man, if a man relax to maybe think, a woman will come and accuse you. What are you thinking of? They, will always, they will always, they will always find, to find something, something to say. To say. Oh, well, you know what? And, and, and to talk about. All right. Well, I'm not going to give the answer right now because I know that there are going to be some viewers who are bubbling and bursting Especially to give you the answer. that comment you've made about partners. Mm -hmm. Partners? The well, partner yeah. size and, and, and sex. They gossip about the, that? Oh, yes. A lot. Yeah, quite a lot. Very well. Yeah. I, th I think that, um, do you really think that women just sit there and just talk about those kind of relationships, what happens in of the bedroom? Of course they do. Why not? Well, of course they and do. And that's even uh, worse. More than men? Yes, they do. And that's even why if you see some of some of them, their girlfriends tend to take away their boyfriend from see, them. Men, men are very personal. Because they always disclose whatever that happens in the bedroom. Men are personal of what happens in the bedroom. They, they don't go around shouting it out and, and um, you know. Let me ask you something. What, what do men talk do? about when they're at the barber shops? Football. 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 What do men talk about when they're in, in the bars having a drink? Football. football. That's something about. What football. do men talk about when they're actually, you know, a little on the alcoholic side? Yeah. Cars. Yeah. Who have the football, car, sports. So men never speak cricket? about women. For, I mean, what can you talk? Well, there's about? a time and a place they do. Yeah. Not. For example. For example, I'm uh, in the evenings when they go home. Why What's would a man go and talk about? <laughs> no, no, no. Why would a man go home? I'm not even taking you on. But that is always supposed to. I mean, like right now no. in every conversation, you're looking at your data. Which team do? You, that's how when how these are. Oh boy, you watched the football yesterday. Yeah, I'm back in chase. I'm yes, back in. I'm so not. So it starts that way. Yes. But for women, yes, they find anything if housefly passes. You know how that? Do you know why that housefly pass? Because that neighbor sent it. They start talking about it. Women must find something to talk about. You know, the show has been on for about 35 minutes. Not under that, but 25 minutes now. Mm -hmm. And I think you've only both said one good thing about women. And that was at the beginning where we said which sex was the more proactive. Which oh. actually shows you in a bad men as in oh, a, a I, bad I, light. I, I think you're trying to make us sound as though we're... we're we're, we're, we're women hate us. No, I didn't or, say or, that. Or, I'm or, just or, stating or the fact <laughs> that yeah. we have been speaking for this length of time and yeah. it's only once you've actually said something positive about women. Yeah, but that is, I mean, that's what we know that women can do. We've, we've just answered I mean, the question. Which means we are not selfish. Yeah. We're telling you the yeah. fact. Now, some people may describe that as actually being arrogant, that you're saying that you're not selfish because you're describing the fact. Yeah. And the people would actually disagree with what you've said so far. I know it's anybody who wants, like, just somebody like you who is saying that men gossip more. Would all, would you I never it? said that men gossip more. I was just relating okay, what was said what to me. Careful. <laughs> Don't put any words into my mouth. I'm quite capable to just yeah. defend them. Mm -hmm. I'm reading what the viewers are asking me to read. And mm -hmm. at the moment, um, even the men are saying that men are gossiping more than few women. Men. Probably those few men those, be th those are the Those are the men like you mentioned earlier on who have got nothing to do all day long. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the men who have nothing to do uh, uh, all day long, I'd like you to maybe to respond to this because I don't think that um, <laughs> as a man you're supposed to be supporting your side and defending your side. And I, 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 I don't know. I think that at the moment we should be talking about truth, even though it's kind of, I would say, funny we're having a laugh, but 
it is true. I think when we look at life, you know, things have changed. For whatever reasons, things have changed. And whereas before, when we spoke about men being, you know, the men in terms of the ones that we kind of looked up to, I'm not saying that we don't, mm. but when it comes to the social attributes, I think that men are becoming a little bit more relaxed, whereas before they were more strict. And perhaps because of that, maybe they may be prone to be a, to a little bit more gossip. Not, not quite, actually, because when you look at nature, um, the, the, the law and everything is now mm -hmm. actually backing up women. It's like those days men used to segregate, but now we accommodated the women. And I could even say why most women don't gossip because they're now, you know, mingling with men. So the, most of them now, most women prefer um, having fem uh, male friends than female friends. Mm -hmm. Because if you ask them the reason, they will tell you in female friends, that's always a gossip. But some of them pick to deal with men because when you're, they're dealing with men, I mean, they change, I mean, they change that attitude of gossiping or going the negative way. Now, if you say that, would you agree with that, um, Chris? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with okay, you. Okay, well, to, well, let me just say something point, then. But, um, if, if you agree, with, both of you agree with that, mm. why does it seem then that when a woman says to a man that she's going to, her, to see her male friend to discuss mm. something, mm. men don't feel comfortable with that? Yeah, uh, Okay, Chris, oh, well, well, no, I, I don't think I don't think there's a there's a, a, a lot of truth in that, actually. To be honest mm -hmm. with you, I, I think men are quite um, uh, quite happy and supportive for their for, for their partners to go along and, and discuss problems with with their female friends. No, uh, male, um, friends, ma male friends. Male friends. Yeah. Because OGB said mm -hmm. that women actually prefer or they have more male friends mm -hmm. than female, than female yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. So if if his partner, for example, said mm -hmm. he she was going to a male friend's house, so just just as a male friend, she's she's going to his house just to talk or whatever. Mm -hmm. A lot of men would say no, they're not having it. Okay, there's there's two. There, okay. Two things is this. Mind you, when you're leaving your house to you go to another male friend's house, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. think about that male friend's girlfriend as well. Oh, please. No, oh, now I've you heard cannot, it all. No, you, you, cannot, cannot, no, you, you, don't, you don't think of that at you all. Cannot, yeah, you can think you about that. You do not think about that at secondly, all. When, so long as that, your relationship is built on trust, Yes. All right, if trust is there, because even before love should be trust, if trust is there, can't let a woman go. It doesn't really matter. So when she actually goes to see the male friend, uh, has the male friend got his partner there as well? Yeah. This, this is this is where you got. Does it matter? It, because if they're male friends, where, it doesn't this is, matter. This is where, where you got to find, um, uh, you know, the, the happy balance. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because if they are friends, especially if they were friends before you came along, mm -hmm. right? I'm just generalizing. Mm -hmm. right. It shouldn't matter whether the person's partner is there or not because they're just friends. Yeah. So, like I mentioned, trust is the main key. Mm -hmm. You know your partner. You know the type of person she is, and you're trusting her. She can't even go to Jerusalem and come back. Come you trust in her that when she comes back, she's yours. Yes. Yeah, there's, there's that's no, how that, deep that, your that, trust would go, Jimmy. Yes, yes, well, that's, that's, that's good. To, that's it, good. It, to it depends on what's going to be discussed. Mm -hmm. So you'd want to know what's going to be discussed before she goes to, the, to her friend's house? Well, why not? Right, okay. <laughs> Women, you're hearing this. I can't wait to open the phone lines. The giveaway question tonight. How many channels do you get when you sign up for Carib Cable's basic package? All right. How many channels do you get when you sign up for Carib Cable's basic package? The winner will be chosen next Thursday and they will win a Carib Cable goodie bag. Tonight, if you answer these two questions correctly, you have a chance to win this basket full of Easter treats. I showed them earlier. Now, in addition, here are the questions. In addition to 350,000 loyalty points, what will the winner of the Super J IGI It's Time for Hope to Show? Shine Easter promotion win. In addition to 350,000 loyalty points, what will the winner of the Super J IGA It's Time for Hope to Shine Easter promotion win? In the Facebook component of the Super J IGA and TJ's It's Time for Hope to Shine Easter promotion, how does one qualify? So if you go to Facebook, okay, you will actually find the answers there. There's a hint, all right? And you can find the questions on thelawfactorlive.com and of course the Facebook page. When we come back, we'll bring you the discussion with our guests, DFL's production assistant, Thea Harvey, and also the Law Factor fan, Valerie Alphonse. You're not going to believe the things that they started to speak about. So make sure you stay with us because after that, we'll open the phone lines and you can actually give your comments. This is the Law Factor Live, of course, only on DBS. We'll see you soon.